kindness. We thank you for your love. We thank you because you are the same God yesterday. You are the same God today. You are the same God forevermore. We say be glorified in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. The Lord bless you. You might be seated. Hallelujah. Our God is good. All the time and all the time, God is good. Hallelujah. Amen. Today, we are praying and talking about dealing with the devourers, the powers of the devourers. Dealing with the powers of the devourers. Dealing with the powers of the devourers. Amen. We are looking at this entity because, like they usually say, it is a silent killer. The devourer. The devourer is a power you must never joke with. The devourer is an entity you must never take for granted. The devourer. And as we are going to see, as we go on, we are going to realize that the reason why many people are not where we are supposed to be today is a, you know, is a contributory factor from this power called the devourer. Hallelujah. Amen. And that is why we will be taking our time today to deal with the power of the devourers. And the Lord will help us in the mighty name of Jesus, dealing with the powers of the devourer. We are reading from Malachi chapter 3, just verse number 11. The book of Malachi chapter 3 is a book we are all generally used to. It's a book we all know. Do not destroy the fruit of your ground. Neither shall your vine cast out fruit before the time in the field. Say the Lord of hosts. Hallelujah. Our passage here, and thank God, it is God himself talking. Our passage here introduces us to a very strange entity called the devourer. God said, I will rebuke the devourers for your sake, especially when it is used by God. It's never a pleasant word at all. Anytime you hear God say, you know, you hear God say rebuke, or you hear the word rebuke and associated to God, it is never a pleasant word at all. Anytime the word rebuke is used in respect to God, beloved, it is always a serious case. For example, in Psalm 6 verse 1, Psalm 6 verse 1. The Bible says, O Lord, rebuke me not in thy anger, neither chasten me in thy hot displeasure. Rebuke me not in thy hot displeasure. So you see that anywhere you see the word anger and hot displeasure. Psalm 76 verse 6. Psalm 76 verse 6. It says, At thy rebuke, O God of Jacob, both the chariot and house are cast into a dead sleep. Word. Psalm 80 verse 16. Psalm 80, verse 16. It, it, it is burnt with fire. It is cut down. They perish at the rebuke of thy countenance. So you can see that whenever the word rebuke is used, you know, with respect to God, it is never a pleasant thing at all. It is never a pleasant thing. So it, to rebuke is to criticize with great displeasure. Is to criticize in anger. Is to criticize with hot displeasure. And the word rebuke is principally, you know, used in respect to the, to, know, to the devil. That is why in, in, in the book of Zechariah chapter 3 verse 2. Zechariah Zachari 3 verse 2. And the Lord said unto Satan, the Lord rebuke thee, O Satan. The Lord rebuke thee, O Satan. Now, you can see here that when the word rebuke is used, it doesn't come, it is never a gentle thing at all. Hallelujah. It is never a gentle thing, a gentle matter at all. The word rebuke. And the Lord, for God to say, I will rebuke the devourer, it means that God, it means that God is talking about something serious. And that is why you and I must not joke with this power called the devourer. The devourer is a silent killer. A silent killer. Hallelujah. The devourer. It is a silent killer. 
The devourer works like a termite. There is nothing the termite cannot eat. And when termites invade a thing, it is just a matter of time. I pray for somebody hearing me. Every power of the devourer against your life, they are terminated today in the mighty name of Jesus. The devourer. Now, when we talk about a devourer, who is a devourer? Because from, the, from our test, when God says, I will rebuke the devourers for your sake, it is God is referring to the devourer as an entity, as a person, as a being, as something that is, you know, that you can talk to. I will rebuke the devourer. So, therefore, when we talk about a devourer, who then is a devourer? You know, when we talk about the word devour, it means to eat up. To eat up something. So, principally, the devourer eats up things. And whatever the enemy have, has eaten in your life, they shall vomit it in the mighty name of Jesus. I said they shall vomit it in the mighty name of Jesus. So, to devour, to consume, to prey on something, to eat up. Now, the word, the word used devourer, the, the Hebrew word itself, devourer, the Hebrew word used devourer there means a eater, an eater, somebody, somebody who eats something that specializes in eating, an eater. So that is what a devourer means by that word in the Hebrew word. A devourer can be a car, and when the enemy enters a thing, that thing becomes a devourer. A devourer can be a car, it can be a machine. And then you find out that you are busy spending and spending and wasting money and spending, and you cannot see what you are, what you are spending on. A devourer. A devourer can be anything that goes wrong anytime you save money. Anytime you, you know, anytime you say, ah, thank God, oh, eh, let me, let me, uh, I, I was owing this one, I have paid this one, I have paid this one. Now, let me sit down and begin to, uh, to gather, let me begin to save, so that me too, as an individual, I can do something meaningful in life. At that point in time, anything that rises up is a devourer. And that is why you need to be very, very sensitive. Any sickness that rises up whenever you have a good project to do that consumes your money is a devourer. I shared with us some times ago, a pastor friend, you know, many years ago, very, you know, very close to us, you know, we were doing ministry together. And at a stage, she was planned, she said she wanted to buy a car. I said, oh, that's fantastic. So we started praying together, started praying, started praying. Eventually, she started, you know, contributing. She started some contributory schemes here and there. She was gathering the money. She was gathering the money. We were praying. She was gathering the money. And, beloved, we got to our Bible study one if Wednesday evening. And she came and said, oh, Pastor Kola, thank God, though, um, the, the money for the car is almost complete now. Once they, once they pay us salary next week, this was about a week to the end of the month. So when they, once they pay us salary next week, I will just take some parts, complete it, and buy the car. I was happy. Ah, praise God. Oh, ah, praise God. Why even so? And all of a sudden, a day before they will pay the salary, she just called and said, ah, hey, Pastor Kola, ah, my Hey, they said my mom is sick. Oh, they just called me now that they have rushed my mom to the hospital. Blah, 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 blah. Say, ah, it is well, it is well. She, they said, my, my auntie, auntie sent 100,000. She sent 100,000. They said, hey, 100,000, we have collected cash. They, they, they have admitted my mom. They need another 100,000. She sent. Beloved, that was how she kept sending 100,000, 150, 100,000, 150, until the whole money finished. The day she spent the last couple, my mom woke up. My mom started jumping up and down. I said, ah, it is well, it is well, it is well. Then she started all over again. She started, she started the same contribution. She started gathering money. She started gathering money. She started gathering money. It took almost four, five months. In fact, up, up to six, seven months. Seven. Then, eventually, this time around, not only gathering with pleasure, she had to sacrifice. She, you know, what she should have bought, she did not buy. She was economizing things. Everybody was affected. Her children were affected. The family was affected. It was like, ah, let us all suffer this one. And once we have our family car, all of us, we enjoy. 
Dearly beloved, she continued. And this time around, I was praying with her and praying with her. And all of a sudden, this time, this time the morning was complete. So she was, uh, she was waiting for the man who was to help her get the car. Say, ah, Pastor Kola, thank God, oh, this and that. I was happy. Few days for the man. The man said, let me search for the car before I collect the money. I don't want to collect the money and you begin to disturb me. Few days before the man, we say the car is ready. All of a sudden, they call again. They say, oh, my mom went to the farm. Oh, my mom somersaulted. Oh, she wanted to cross river. My mama's leg entered river. Mama somersaulted. Oh, it was a, a hippo. Hey, hospital. She sent 50,000. They say, oh, the 50,000, in fact, they used 50,000 to buy cellotape and put mama's leg and shake small, small. She sent 100,000. Ah, this 100,000, in fact, mama was not eating before. When you sent 100,000, mama started eating. Send another 100,000. They sent another 100,000. They say, ah, this 100,000, well, mama's le left leg is shaking very well now, shaking very well now. For the right leg to shake, send another 100,000. She sent, beloved, that was how the whole money went. The day she sent the last cobble, they said, mama was fine. Say, ah, say, wait, to, oh, wait, to. Oh. I didn't tell her. I said, ah, wait. I remember the other time, the day she sent the last money, Mama was well. This one, the day she sent the last money, Mama was well. Say, mm -mm. this Mama's matter is not ordinary. I didn't see anything. I started following up. I started following up. This time around, by the time it was the third time, she started again. This had entered second year. The vehicle, by the time the vehicle should have been one year old. She started, she, the vehicle has not come. She was still gathering money. So by implication, if all had worked well, by now she should have bought two cars if she had wanted to. Am I right? But she didn't have one. I said, hey, something is fishy. So this time, I started giving her a close marking. Ah, how far? This one, that will, Father, in Jesus' name, this morning will be complete by force, by fire. We were praying and praying and praying and praying. And then, it took her almost, this is going to now, this is going to the end of the second year. And then the money was coming up, was coming up, was coming up gradually. And she said, ah, Pastor Kola, in fact, this time around, um, God did something. My husband got this one. He gave me this one. I said, add to it. Ah. Next week, we are waiting. We are going. The man said, uh, by next week, he's expecting some cars. Say, fine. All of a sudden, one fateful evening, she just called. We are living in Lubeden. She said, ah, Pastor Kola, hey, please oh, help me pray. I said, what happened? Hmm. They said, since morning, oh, Mama was not feeling fine. I said, ha. Ah. I said, okay. Mama is not feeling fine. And then that was almost late. You know what I mean? Almost 10 p.m. I said, okay, please, this time around, please don't send money yet. Oh. I, I want us to pray very well. Prayer will work. So I said that, Father, in the name of Jesus, I agreed with her. By the following morning, I didn't allow her. I went to meet her in the office. I said, ah, hey, Mama, how is everything? This and that and that. I said, hey, um, thank God. Then there was no internet banking. You have to go to the bank. I, did. I said, hey, um, your checkbook, is it here? I mean, we are very close. She trusts me. I said, say yes. Say, hey, uh, is it here? I said, I want to lay hand on it so that this car will come quickly. As she brought out the, chest, the checkbook, I said, Makura Sandaria. I put it. She said, Pastor, what happened? I said, I want to keep it. She said, you did not sign it. Uh -huh. I said, she said, why? I said, I want to keep it. UBA, a UBA checkbook. I just put it here. She said, why? I said, nothing. I want to be speaking in tongues on this, on this checkbook every, every morning, afternoon, evening, so that this time around we can buy the car. That's how I put the checkbook. I put it in my pocket. I said, Mama, we will pray this time around. Let us, ah, don't you have faith? Say, I have, hey, nothing will happen to mama. Let us pray. I held her hand. I said, Father, in the name of Jesus, anything shaking mama, we shake you out by fire. Anything, I said, what did they say? I had prayed halfway before I said, hey, what did they say is wrong with mama? They said, it's her back. Oh, Lord, my father, lay your hand on mama's back. Touch her tummy so that they won't say the thing jump from. When you are dealing with the devourer, you have to be proactive. So they won't say the thing jump from the back. If something can hit mama from the back, it can from the back enter tummy. So we pray for the back, pray for the tummy, pray for the side, pray for the side. I went with the checkbook. She said, ah, Pastor Kola, they say I should just send just 50,000. I said, ah, 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 don't spoil my faith now. We have agreed that prayer will work. That was how. She said, ah, eh, in the evening. 
They say, ah, they won't call me. They are calling me. They are calling me. Tell them they have not paid you. Ah, are you central bank? Even central bank self, it's not every time you get money there. Beloved, by the following day, she did not send money. Third day, she did not send money. By the fourth day. They say, ah, auntie, we are happy. We are happy. Mama just left for the farm. She now called me. I said, you see now. That was the only time she was able to buy a car. Praise the Lord. Lift up your hand. Say, oh God, arise. Oh God, arise. And destroy every devourer destroy against every... my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Go ahead and begin to pray. Yes. Begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. Every devourer assign against my life. My Father, my God, I paralyze them in the mighty name of Jesus. Manka Pama Sakaliha, Imbra Liga Dayababa, Maso Proko Torika, begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. La Kama Kura Basanda, Leseke Popo Popo Yegede. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Say, I command, I command every arrow of devourer arrow fired arrow into my finances. I fire you back. In the mighty name of Jesus. I fire you back. I fire you back. Begin, you back. begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. La poca poma I fire you back. I fire you back. I fire you back. I fire you back. I fire you back in the name of Jesus. I fire you back. In the name of Jesus, I fire you back. Maseka Paradaba, begin to pray. Kauri Masakandalia, I fire you back. I fire you back. I fire you back. I fire you back. In the mighty name of Jesus, Mauri Kauri Sauri Daba Shandalia, I fire you back. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Beloved, is it not possible that? What this woman passed through is the same problem you are passing through. Who was she? A teacher. Or a teacher. A teacher. She was not a contractor or one for one nine in one office that will turn uh, 10 figures to 20 figures. No. A teacher. And then she would labor at the end of the month. She was not. She, her mates were buying clothes. She was not buying. She was saving every day. You know, living in this in discomfort to save money. She will save money once it is time for her to go and give dealer money to buy car. They will say, "Mama is sick." Somewhere in Olu, in Imo State, Mama is sick. She will send money, send money, send money, send fifty thousand. She will send. Listen to me. If you have one million, and you take ten thousand from that one million, you are no more a millionaire. Ten thousand from one million. I hope you know that. She will send. She will send, she will send, she will send. Until she had sent the last couple. Mama will never be well. It happened the first time. By the time it happened the second time, I say, ah, ah, wait to. And that is why, as I am talking now, begin to think very well. Which area is it that the enemy has been, has been walking and devouring and walking and devouring and walking and devouring? Today, we frustrate them in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Until I saw that, I say, ah, hey. So that, that means by the time she managed to buy the third car, I mean, they, they, to buy the car the third time, after she had wasted the first, the first uh, uh, money she was to buy the car with in, in, uh, on mama's sickness, the sickness that needed no cobalt to be, you know, to, to be dealt with the second time. So it was the third time. Uh, if I did not collect a checkbook and say, please give me the checkbook. I want to go and pray in tongues. I want to go and speak in tongues on that checkbook. She would have sent that money and perhaps... Till today, she wouldn't have had the car. I want to pray for somebody. Any devourer that has kept you in the position you are, may God paralyze them in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Devourer. Devourer. The danger with a devourer is that the devourer will be eating you gradually and you will not know. Please be seated. God bless you. The devourer will be eating you gradually and you will not know. It reminds me of those days when we were still at home, very, very young. We were sleeping in the room one night. And my cousin, Ibrahim, is late now. You know, in the evening when, uh, you, you know, trust boys, I don't know what he went to do in the kitchen. And he marched inside stew, the stew that uh, our grandmother, we, we was, she was cooking. And then he marched inside stew. And unfortunately, he did not bathe. He just came and slept like that. By the time we woke up in the morning, he said, ah, he stretched. As he put his 
his foot, his right foot on the floor. He jumped. Yeah, 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 yeah. He said, ah, what happened? Did you step something? He said, no. He turned. He tried to put his left foot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. By the time we say, we say, let's check what is the matter. The foot has become white. All the skin has been. And what happened? These two, these two he went to, to step in. He didn't know that as he was sleeping. You know, these small, small, uh, small, small rats. Small, small, right? Tiny, tiny, tiny one. They were eating the leg. They were, it was soup they were supposed to be eating. They did not, since they don't have, their tongues cannot lick soup. So instead of them to lick the soup, they were eating the leg and the soup together. They were eating, the eating. So they ate all the skin on his foot. So as he was trying to put, it was blood that was coming out. That is the way. Now, every one of us were asking, how did you not eat your leg like this overnight? They ate your leg, you did not even wake up. That is how the virus works. They will be eating, eating, eating. You will be sleeping. You will not know. Say one naira, two naira, three naira. Money is going small, small. One naira, two naira, three naira. Money is going small, small. I pray for somebody hearing me. Any devourer assigned against your life, any devourer assigned against your business, may God paralyze them in the mighty name of Jesus. Devourer. That was how God saved that woman. Who that was how God saved that woman. And since then, she had bought cars upon cars upon cars upon cars. One woman in Lokoja, a civil servant. That was how the, the, the enemy decided to plant a devourer in her life. She had she has four children. And all these children were falling sick one by one. Federal Medical Center in Lokoja also. One, one of those uh, popular hospitals. They knew her there. Everybody knew her. Why? As the first, first child is coming out of the hospital, the second one is entering the hospital. As the second one is coming out, the third one is entering the hospital. As the third one is coming out, the other one is entering the hospital. So by the time the number four comes out, number one will start again. That was how she was living her life. All true. All true. And then when you are living that kind of life, even if you are a billionaire, how long will it take before the money will finish? When money is going at a faster rate than at its, as it is coming in. Beloved, that was how she was in. One day she started praying. She started crying. There is somebody hearing me today. You have been crying to God to deliver you from that affliction. You have been crying to God to deliver you from that problem. I join my faith with you. Today is your day of deliverance. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Beloved, she started crying to God. That faithful money. In fact, what was happening? Instead of one child before, maybe the devil was helping her. It was rotational. When one is coming out, the other one will enter. This one, one, two, three. Three of her children were, were down at the same time. She was crying to God. God, what is this and that and that? So eventually, God helped. The children were okay. They came to the house. She wept overnight. By the following morning, she dress up. I join my faith with somebody. Anything making you to weep silently. Anything making you to cry silently. By the mercy of God today, may God visit you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever had brought you sorrow, whatever had made you weep, whatever had made you cry, today by the mercy of God, let the joy of God be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. This lady cried in Lokoja, Kogi State, not central Nigeria. For those of us who are listening from outside Nigeria. Amen. Beloved, she woke up in the morning. She took her bed and went to the office. As she got to the office, she sat on her, on her seat. And she said, Father, in the name of Jesus, today as I am walking, this and that. She wanted to say a short prayer. All of a sudden, she had the Holy Spirit telling her, go back home. Go back home. Go back home. Say, go back home. Say, hey. home. Yes. To go and do what? She was just yearning. Go back home. <laughs> go back home for what? She didn't have peace in her heart. She sat down. Say, God, go back home to do what? Hey. Is, is it that another child is sick? So her heart started panting. The go back home, she thought it was another problem. Okay. She dropped her bag. She just dipped her hand. You know, in her bag, she carried her car keys. 
Her heart was like, God, hey, what is this? I just came out of the hospital. Three children at the time. God, what is it? God, what is it? She entered her car. Meanwhile, all the four children were at home. She entered her car. She, she was driving home. Ba, 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 ba. Beloved, she got, she entered her compound, she parked. And then she jumped down from the car and she was running towards her door. As she was running towards her door, she had all the four children, all of them crying at the same time. Her heart started beating. Ba, ba. Say, oh God, what is happening? What is happening? She got to the door. She started banging at the door. Bang, 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 bang. She didn't hear anything. Dearly beloved, she decided to peep through the keyhole. As she put her eyes through the keyhole, beloved, she almost collapsed. What did she see? The house girl in the house, a house girl, the girl in her house, was standing in the middle. The four children surrounded her. She was standing at the middle. From her leg down was human being. Her, her waist up was snake. And she was doing like this to the children. Eee, the children, small, small, the children were crying. Small, small, they were crying. They were crying. They were crying. Ah! When she saw that, she was banging the door. You stupid girl. I will kill you today. Blah, 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 blah. Of course, when she, the noise was much, the snake started transforming. The snake started transforming. Started transforming. Eventually, the snake transformed and became the girl and opened the door. Stupidly, Stupidly. She wanted to rush and slap the girl. The little girl said, if you dare it. <laughs> that was when she came to her senses. Somebody turned to half snake, half human being. Something you cannot do. If they put the two of you, oh yeah, one, two, three, turn to snake. You cannot turn to lizard, let alone snake. Then you now want to raise your hand. Is that not stupidity? Quickly, her head come correct like the worried person we say. She said, eh. so you are a snake. The girl that will say, Auntie, crew, she will need her with her two legs. Auntie, crew, she will need her. The girl said, She said, eh, So you are a snake. It now became question and answer time. She said, Oh, you are a snake. The girl said, eh, So you too, every day you are going to church, you are going for Bible studies, you are going for prayer meeting. So you don't know I am a snake. That day, she did not even wait to say, Go and pick your things. She said, Get out. She was outside when she was flinging at the things, uh, the, the serpent. So that was the day we got to know that serpent, snake too used to use pants. She was throwing the skirt, throwing everything. Throw, 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 throw everything. So the girl went out. I pray for you. Any agent of darkness planted in your life, Makapalika Sanda, any agent of darkness planted in your family to afflict you, may God paralyze them today. In the mighty name of Jesus, may God frustrate them today. Maleka Poma Sandaria, in the name of Jesus, I pray for you, agent of darkness in your house, agent of darkness in your family, by fire, I uproot them today. In the mighty name of Jesus, she never knew that the devourer in her life was the house help that she went to pick. The girl was absolutely obedient not like peter will be not the peter will be but uh, so respectful she will go on her knees anything auntie and she will go and run to the kitchen come and you will never anticipate and that is why you need to be spiritually sensitive may god help us in jesus name so the devourer so the devourer is an instrument of judgment the devourer is an instrument of judgment it is something the enemy uses to deal with people. That was what they did to this woman. They were using that girl to deal with her. That was the instrument of judgment. Any man or woman dealing with you with the instrument of judgment of devourer, may the wrath of God fall upon them in the mighty name of Jesus. The, 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 the devourer is a destroyer. The, the, the devourer is a destroyer. The devourer is a waster. The devourer is an enemy of profit. It's a profit waster. The devourer. The devourer is a waster of harvest. The devourer is an abutter of miracles. Devourer. I pray for you today. Any devourer walking against your life, may fire destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. 
What are the types of devourers we have? There are different, so many types of devourers. Number one, there are the spiritual devourer. This one devours spiritually. Spiritual devourers. They can they devour prayer life. You before that by 4 a.m. you're on your feet. You are praying. You are praying, you are on fire. You are praying, you are on fire. You are praying. Everywhere is vibrating. All of a sudden. The same you that can wake up 4 a.m. and you will pray in tongues for one hour. You will now wake up now. All of a sudden, you have become a spiritual conductor. You will wake up at 6 a.m. You now begin to pray. Mraba, yeah. Mraba, yeah. You sleep off. The same you. Spiritual devourer are at work in your prayer life. There are, Bible, you know, there are Bible study life devourers. You that could wake up and read the Bible and read the Bible. Now you spend more time on Twitter. You spend more time on, uh, on uh, Facebook. You say, there is another one they call TikTok. That one you can spend the whole day. As you are putting in, you say, uh, America is a point. You see this one. You put another one. Uh, it's Buga, but dancing with the head. You put another one. Policeman is running after one woman that the husband wants to touch. That there's no one. You see different, different kind of things. Amen. I don't know why Sister Evans is laughing. They kill spiritual commitment. That is the work of the spiritual devourer. Somebody was very committed, dedicated. Everybody knew, knew her in the church. Oh, one sister so, so, so comes, she enters the church, she turns the whole thing upside down to the glory of God. She's very good at God's work. She's this and that and that. All of a sudden, the same sister that was hot for God becomes cold. Becomes cold. That is spiritual devourer at work. I pray for somebody. Any power that has devoured your life spiritually, may God destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Some people say, I will not go to church again. And why? Uh, pastor did not come to greet me. Is it pastor that will take you to heaven? The problem is that spiritual devourers are at work. Spiritual devourers, they are at work. And I went to church. And in fact, if you look at the way that sister looked at me, she looked at me like this. Because of that, I'm not going to church. They have finished you. Because whether you like it or not, heaven is meant, it's not meant for you alone. You will meet people there. So if you find it difficult to relate with people here, then there is a problem. Amen. So spiritual devourer. That is the first type of devourer. They devour people spiritually. If you are under the hammer of spiritual devourer, I pray for you today. May God revive you in the mighty name of Jesus. I say may God revive you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Your, your, your life, the function of your life is the function of your prayer life. If you are weak on your knees, you are weak indeed. May God help us in Jesus' name. So number two, there is time devourers, time wasters, time wasters, time wasters. They waste time. They devour people's time by engaging people in frivolous and useless discussion. Amen. In Joel chapter 2, the Bible was talking about a certain devourer there. Joel chapter 2. Hallelujah. Amen. Verse 25, Joel chapter 2, verse 25. Let us look at the time devourer. And I will restore to you, what? The years that the locusts had eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar, the palmer worm, my great army, which I sent among you, I will restore to you the years. Remember, we, des we describe, we define the word devourer in the Hebrew word as eaters. So, among the Jews, you know, because their major occupation was, uh, was, uh, was farming, then animal husbandry. So they were using, they, all these terms were used in relation to farming. So, and then the major devourer when it comes to farming are pests. This insect, the caterpillar, the palmer worm, the canker worm. And so God is talking here. Now, naturally, you know, insect, insects should eat what? Grasses or plants. But the irony of verse 25 of Joel chapter 2 here says, I will restore unto you the what? The, the vegetables that the, the, that the caterpillars have eaten. Is that what the Bible says? No. I will restore unto you what? The years that the what? The locusts have eaten. 
Locusts are these green grass cutters. Locusts don't eat ears. Are you following me? They eat, they eat grass, isn't it? They eat leaves. But this locust the Bible is talking about is not the usual locust. These are year time wasters. They will, what they do, they allow you to, time, to, 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 you know, you are counting times. You are counting times. Ah, it's uh, so, so, so years. It's so, so, so years. But you are not counting achievement. I pray for you. Any power that is allowing you to count years, but it's not allowing you to count achievement. May that power die today in the mighty name of Jesus. So, these are the most horrible, most terrible devourers. Devourers, with, just these devourers, you know, you, they will not stop you from celebrating birthday. Which one? Last year, I've added another year. This year, I've added another year. Next year, I've added another year. But they will allow you to add years, but they will not allow you to add achievements. Malika Poma Sanda, lift up your hand. You are going to pray. Say, I command any power. Any power. Allow me to count years. Allow me to count years. But does not years. allow me to count achievement. <laughs> You are a liar. A liar. Die. Die. Prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. Ah, devourers of my years, devourers of my achievement. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, Embro ligada masakata ya liha ah ma ubra gada da 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 begin to pray begin to pray begin to pray begin to pray in the mighty name of Jesus maleka po mo shontoria in the huda ka ka huda masandaria embro godo mo shonto embra gada masandaria in Jesus mighty name we pray you will still pray remember ah mommy was sharing a story recently. She was starting, sharing a story recently about a, uh, is it a young man that, they were, that was dead and they were taken for burial. And as they were taking this young man for burial, dead, so they got to, a, to the village and the vigilante people, the local hunters, they, hey, 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 we are even people. They said, ah, they are going for burial. Say, eh, who are you going to bury? Say, this one. Say, open. Beloved, as they open the casket, mommy, what did they do? All the, vigil the vigilante, the local hunters, all of them prostrated. They say, ah, KBSO, KBSO, KBSO. The people say, Baba, are you people normal? This is a dead body. It's our brother. He's dead. We are going to bury. They say, ah, this one is a great king. A great king. But where is he now? Inside casket. The people that were even carrying, they didn't know it's a great king they were carrying. A great king has become a great corpse. Malika Pamasanda, grab your head with your two hands. Ah. The, your, your crown will not be celebrated in the grave. Amen. Amen. Which wicked death killed this great king? Which wicked death kill this great king? That is devourer. You will pray for yourself. My father, my God. Hey, my glory will not sink. My glory will not be buried. My glory, you will shine. Go ahead and begin to pray. My brother, Rakatala Maga Brodomo Shatalia in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, Baba Maori Kasata, our Lima Kapama Kuida Hashanda in the mighty name of Jesus. La Muska Pushka Puragada, the Soba Kandaria in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Ah, Kama Supra Ligadaya, in Brolododododova Shida, in Bragada Mama Manga. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, ah, my so procodo here. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. There is somebody, one person, Job 2015. It is this prayer is for you. This prayer is for somebody. 
That person, you are watching me. That person, you are listening to me. Job 2015, we want to pray because of you. Ah, whatever they have swallowed. Look at Job 2015. We want to pray. It is for one person. It is for one person. God says we should pray this prayer because of that one person. Let us read Job 20. Look at verse 15. Read it on top of your voice. One, two, three, go. He had swallowed what? Riches. Down riches. And he, he shall vomit, vomit it up again. God will cast it out of his belly. Excuse me. When you hear he has swallowed, what should come to your mind? Semo, jollof rice. Sister Evans, you like jollof rice. The way you turn, the moment I mention jollof rice, I will, not, I will not mention jollof rice in church again so that you will not lose attention. <laughs> Mommy, your daughter loves jollof rice. As I said jollof rice, she smiled and turned. I know. Amen. Fufu is there. Sister Sarah is laughing. So, he did not swallow. Pandemium is there. And Egusi, this, this stupid element did not start to swallow. What did he swallow? Ah, hello. When has riches become fried rice? Malika Pama Sandaria. He has swallowed down riches. God was waiting for the owner of the riches to revolt and say, My riches, my riches. The owner of the riches went and sat down. God was looking, saying, Open your mouth. They have swallowed riches. But when God saw that you were sleeping, you did not do anything, mercy has now spoken for you. God said, He will arise. God uh, said he will cast it out of his amen. stomach. Amen. He will vomit it again. Amen. Say this after me. Say, I command. I command. All my riches swallowed by all the enemy. All my riches swallowed. Vomit them by fire. Vomit them. 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 All my riches, my leg, for my sanda. Oh, yeah, for me, 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 in Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Madam, please come closer. What's your name? Madam, uh, yes, come. Come closer. Please. We will pray that prayer again. Hallelujah. Amen. Good morning, ma. What's your name? Ha. Ah. Don't let anybody use your cloth again. No. Ah, auntie, I quickly want to use this. I quickly want to use that. Don't give anybody, anybody, don't allow anybody to use your cloth. You understand me? Because of how we will pray again. Amen. God will show you mercy. I said, God will show you mercy. God will show you mercy. They have used cloth to steal from you. Uh, uh, let me quickly use this one. Amen. And your cloth suddenly disappeared in your wardrobe. Just look at it. I can't find this yellow, this again. You left it like that. Mercy has located you today. Amen. Somebody you will shout. Say, all my riches are oh by the enemy. Throw me down by fire. Pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray, 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 in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Ah.
are somebody you are hearing me we want to pray because of one person and it has to do with your child the name of the child starts with j j when the child was very young the enemy swallowed riches in the life of that child ah you will all of us we will pray amen but the lord is telling me there is a parent hearing me the name of that child starts with j when the child was very young something happened the enemy swallowed that you will cry to god that he god today will restore the glory will restore the wealth <laughs> lift up your hands and the sandaria. you are going to pray say any power any power swallow the glory of my children swallow the glory of my children by fire for prayer in the name of jesus aha oya command command provision Come of my children, for it, 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 Jesus mighty name who pray. Amen. When men slept, the enemies came and planted us. Matthew 13, 20. When men slept, we will pray that prayer again. Amen. We are talking about devourer. And the worst thing the devourer can do is to devour your future, which are your children. Many parents, now that you are supposed to sit down and begin to enjoy the fruit of your labor, you are still giving your children a, ch a child that has finished master's already. You are still the one giving the child food, uh, money. Uh, go and buy the child card. Mommy, my, uh, my, my period has come. I need uh, money for party. I need money for silpas after master's. When are you going to sit down and enjoy the fruit of your labor? Mali Kapama Sandaria. You will pray. Say any power anywhere. Any power anywhere. That has found that I will not enjoy the fruit of my labor. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? In the name of Jesus, 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 in the Beloved, something is happening. As this prayer was going on, I pray for somebody. Any power behind you down behind the problem of your children, that power will be disgraced. Amen. Amen. As this prayer was going on, I saw an elderly woman. The rapper was falling on her body. Rapper was falling. She was trying to hold it. Rapper was falling. I don't know details of what is about whether she's about to run mad or about to fall, about to die. You will take that prayer again. If they want to run mad, let them run mad. That will even be better. They will run mad and naked and enter, enter market and say, Ah, Nami, oh, Nami, they make them, oh, may our children know well, oh, Nami, oh, Nami, oh. They will run mad and enter market. But I see that happening already. One old woman, the rapper was falling. Rapper was falling. Ah, the rapper shall fall. Hey, hey. Hey. Say, I command. I command. I command. Power. That has vowed that, that, that I will not enjoy my labor over my children. How must say that? Go ahead and pray. Hey, go ahead and pray. Shut up. Uh -huh. Oh, 
in Jesus mighty name we pray amen Joshua, please come behind this sister let me let's settle your case then you can go lift up your hands as the lift up the two hands as the Lord lived before whom we are wherever they have taken your glory to by the count of three recover one two three oh yeah take it take it take it take it in the name of Jesus take it back we are take it back take it back take it back take it back in the mighty name of Jesus in Jesus mighty name we pray somebody say devourer Say devourer, devourer. When we were young and very naive, please sit down for a while. When we were very, we were young and naive. One of my grandmothers, you know, those of you who just came from a family, only your grandfather, only your grandmother. By the time you started growing, only your father, only your mother, you, you live an Oyimbo life in Africa. God bless you. My own was complicated. My grandfather had 29 children, six wives, different culture. Amen. Some of them were full-time herbalists. Some of them part-time herbalists. Some of them diploma in herbalism. Some of them certificate in herbalism. All of them, some have PhD. That is it. When my father too came up, it was a different thing. Hallelujah. Amen. So we grew up in that kind of culture. One of my grandmothers, those days, she was selling petty, petty this thing. They said, Gesha, uh, Milo, uh, milk was uh, where one cobble or something like that. Then there was one milk they call carnation. Uh, carnation, one thick milk like this. Uh -huh. So all those ones were what she was selling. She was selling bread. We call the bread bob. The bob bread was uh, one and a one cup or something, something, something like that. That bob, bob bread, very long, like my hand, like this. If you throw it up, breeze, we carry it away. Very light and long and big. Amen. That was what mama was selling. But one thing I noticed was that anybody who came to buy anything, first thing in the morning, mama would not collect money from the person. She would call either myself or my cousin. She will be, will be the first person to, collect, to help her collect money from customer for the day. Amen. And she had one small basket where she kept her money. There are there were three cowries inside. Three cowries inside. Those cowries were always there. She would collect the money and put. Do you know that with those worobo, we call it we call it worobo. This is a small, small uh, one cobble, one cobble. Mama built three bedroom, three bedroom apartment. Amen. And I had uncles who were doing business, doing that and that and that. They did not build half-bedroom apartments. Amen. Unknown to us, Mama will say, ah, this one, uh, he, he, his, his hand has, he brings blessing. If you are taking all the blessing, we, may have, well, we need the blessing. Thank God, by the time we became born, we started understanding. And there are many of you who are momolistically used like that. Say, go and collect the money and bring. You will give it the one. No, your mother, somebody is owing her. She will not send any other child. It's you that will go and collect. You say, when you go, they will pay. If this one goes, they will not pay. So, your own anointing is to be collecting money for others. I pray for you. Any accident against your destiny, may God scatter it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Number three is financial devourer. This devourer does not do any other thing. It is money. The one the Yoruba people call Owolo Bade. Now money, money, money. Amen. Financial devourer. Any little thing, money. Any little thing, money. You went to fix a car. You have just spent 50000 You come back. The whole thing you have fixed. He says it's not working. Ah, take the parts back. Ah, the man will not collect. You spend 150000 Every arrow of devourer, Malika Pasa Kandaria, fired into your finances. I fire you back by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Amen. Sometimes you have bought something before you realize, ah, this is not the time. This is not the time. Return it. Excuse me, ma. We are not collecting it back. What you have bought is not useful for you. It's not useful for anybody. Number four devourer is health devourer. The one, the devourer that devours health. Health devourer. Mark chapter 5, verse 25. Health devourer. Mark chapter 5 from verse 25. Amen. And a certain woman which had an issue of blood 12 years and had suffered many things of many physicians. I want us to look at that verse six, very, 26 very well. And had what? Suffered many things of many physicians, many doctors. But had, you know, and had what? Spent all that she had and was nothing better but rather grew worse. When she had heard of Jesus, came in, in the press behind and touched his garment. For she said, if I may touch by this cloth, I shall be whole. And straight away the fountain of her, of her blood was dried up. And she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. Let's, hallelujah, let's stop there. Dearly beloved, that is how health devourer works. She carried this affliction for how many years? Twelve years. She did not meet Jesus. She did not meet the solution until she had wasted everything. Excuse me, what do you think her life would have been like if she had met Jesus 12 years ago when the sickness was only one month old? That is how the devourer works. The devourer will not allow the person to see solution until the, everything was finished. That was what it was doing to the woman I was talking about. Mama will never be well no, until she had spent the last couple. That is how the devourer works. Any devourer against your health. I command it to die in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, devourer. Devourer. Any sickness that wants to place you on permanent, on perpetual drug. That, ah, you have to be taking this one oh, every day. Oh, how much is it? 15,000 power, 15,000 naira. Ah, if I buy it one week, 15. So 15, 15, that, that is a devourer. I pray for anybody that the enemy wants to devour your health. May the fire of God devour that devourer in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody shout this loud and clear. Say every arrow of devourer. Arrow of devourer. Fired against my health. Against I fire you health. back by fire. fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. Beloved, devourer of health is a terrible thing. No matter what, how precious the money you have is, no matter how important that money is, God forbid, but when sickness comes, nobody will look at, ah, this money is meant for this. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That is how the devourer works. Somebody is in pain. The person is rolling on the ground. And yeah, there was money that I was supposed to use to go and buy a house. Is he not going to put hand inside? And we say, ah, <laughs> is he not somebody that is alive that will live in a house? I pray for somebody. Please rise up on your feet. Especially if you are experiencing any sickness now. That the enemy wants to turn to a devourer. But look at Sandaria. The Bible says our bodies are the temple of the living God. And anything that tries to defile it shall what? Shall be destroyed. Ah, you are going to pray. Say every arrow of sickness. Every arrow of sickness. Every arrow of affliction. Every arrow of affliction. In my body. In my body. What 
What are you waiting for? You waiting Jump for? out by fire. Pray in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Magada bragada masha bragada bragada. In the name of Jesus. Pray. 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 Ah. Jagada da 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 da. Em bragada maske. 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 La ba 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 ha ha. Aya kacha ha. Aya kacha ha. Abrosotoria. Abrosotoria. Ali ma kacha ha. Maseke chala da. Akankuru di bash. Lodo bash. Em rolle di bash. Masunda ya ka. Elinda kuwa. Aya kuwa chwa 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 chwa. La zaba bupa kaya ha. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. A few months ago, mommy and I went to see a family friend in one popular private hospital in Abuja. It has to do with uh, the issue of one of his legs. We went there. Say, ah, how are you feeling? Fine, this and that. By the time he started talking. He said before, he said they will, cut, they will cut small, small skin here to patch this one. They will take small leg here to add this one, this and that. I said, ah, it is well. He said, Pastor, you know how much I have spent? He said, no, sir. He said, six million. He said, ah, excuse me. Ah, uh -uh. wait. Six waiting. Six million. Excuse me. Did they buy another leg for you? He said, no. It's just this side. They remove flesh here and put it. I say, I don't understand. Six million. Hey, be beloved, if you, if you have six million in your pocket, is he not going to do something? To so just let go. They didn't buy another leg. They didn't amputate. So <clears throat> there was, they said, one growth somewhere. This and that and that. Six million. He said, I went to borrow here. I went to borrow here. Went to borrow here, went to borrow here, six million. Ah, ah. Look up, I look down. I said, the leg, say yes. This one, six million, say yes. Sorry, when they finish the leg, did they pack gold inside so that we know that when you leave this place, we go and sell the gold? He said, Pastor, you have come again. I said, I, am, I want to know. He said, No. Ah, rise up on your feet. If you have ever experienced that or you are experiencing that, shout no more. I'm a Sakatalia. The God you and I, do you know, excuse me, ma, do you know, do you, do you know what blew my mind about God when it comes to healing? The Bible says God carried all the children of Israel, over 2.5 million human beings, through the wilderness for 40 years. No pipe bond water, no seaway water, no ever water. They were drinking from river. Are you getting the point? There was no medical facility in the wilderness. Sometimes they will come to water. They will enter the river as they put their mouth. The river, the water will be bitter. They will say, oh God, God, this water is bitter. God will say, shut up your mouth. Moses, take one small leaf, put inside as he drop it. They will say, go and drink the water. They will put their mouth. They will say, God, ah, this water is tasting like Sprite. Ah, when last did I drink Sprite? God, thank you. Since the flies were in the wilderness, the mosquitoes in the wilderness, they were a special breed. But they did not have malaria. The Bible says none of them was feeble. None of them was weak. God carried, the crowd alone was supposed to be, you know, the camp was supposed to be infectious. But God said, when I am in charge, God takes charge of your health today. Amen. God takes charge of your health today. Amen. Amen. Malika Pama Sandaria. We are going to pray. Malika Pama Sandaria. God made a covenant in that Exodus 26, 15 or so, or 15, 26. Amen. He said, None of the Egyptian disease will what? Will land on you. So, this is one major area the enemy is afflicting humanity today. Devour through health. Devour through health. Amen. Somebody was sleeping the other day. By the time she was sleeping, a power came and pressed him, pressed him, moved his neck. By the time he woke up, he, he could not talk very well. Say what happened? 
to go to the hospital. So what happened? Um, he had a uh, esophagus something something infection. I said esophagus co. Esophabiani. I'm a sick Italia. Say, I shake away. I shake away. Every hour of sickness. Every hour of in my body. In my body. In my family. In my family. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, I'm a lagada mascara. I shake away. In the name of Jesus. I shake away. 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 in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Our time is fast spent, but let's look at one more. One more. Devourer of harvest as you gather, you scatter. In Judges chapter 6, verse 1 to 6, the Bible says it came to pass when Israel sinned that the Amalekites will come. They will come with their grasshoppers, like grasshoppers. They will come with their camels. They will come with.